YouTube, what's going on? My name is Argon. Welcome back to some Fortnite informational, instructional, conversational kind of content. Today is Season 5, guys. We launch off the first day of Season 5, and we have all the patch notes for you, the key things to show you and talk to you about, about the new map, about the new changes, about the new additions that they've added to the game, and we're just going to jump right into it, guys. So we're going to go ahead and leave the patch notes as a link in the description below if you want to read the full patch notes. Uh, this this uh, patch was mostly a lot to do with adding content, not so much about game balance, so we're going to talk about the things that they added into the game of course very first and foremost the map has been updated there has been a new biome that's been added to the map called the desert biomes so basically in the southeast corner where Moisty Meyer used to be guys you could see it on the gameplay right now there has been almost completely removed and turned to a desert theme it's super cool it's super awesome I only had a chance to you know visit one or two villages before I had to get out of there and of course I did use a rift to get out of there they have added rifts into the game which are basically like free jump pads so you'll find them I'm not sure exactly where they are along in the map but we'll find them eventually but you jump into it and it'll basically just shoot you up into the sky and get to let you use your parachute so it gives you a chance to move around quickly around the map if you need to stay tuned to find out exactly where all those locations are and then that'll actually help you with your gameplay guys because it gives you a chance to move around quicker they also did add carts to the game which are basically they're called all-terrain carts so they can take all the way up to four players if you're running squads all of you guys can run into it and uh, use it and get around the map you can get a speed boost after you drift so these actually are capable of drifting and the roof actually is a bounce pad so if you work together with your rear passengers you are able to leap over obstacles with the all-terrain car by leaning back and releasing all at the same time for a higher jump have to test this out when you get into squad guys lean back by holding s on keyboards or by holding back on the thumbsticks for your controllers now the carts can be destroyed and you can shoot the people that are in the carts as you can see in the gameplay you'll see me actually shooting and hitting the guy that's driving the golf cart eventually I end up taking him out uh, also you do end up seeing you, you can actually blow it up by blowing up with c4 later in the game uh, so that's all that guys they also did at a new location, a couple of new locations. One is Paradise Palms. That's actually in the new desert biome. And of course, they did add a couple other key areas around the map that are not marked. And they added Lazy Links, which is a replacement for Anarchy Acres. So make sure you guys check out all that. It looks really cool, guys. I, I can't wait to get in and keep exploring and finding new places. I wish we had a playground still. But we're going to have to do with what we have to do for now, guys. So another few changes they made. They also added a new feature to shotguns where you can actually see how many pellets of your shotgun are actually hitting the target. And they also removed Devil Pump. They say so they say after firing a shotgun another shotgun cannot be fired for a very long time they've also increased the amount of pellets that a heavy shotgun fires it'll now fire 10 pellets instead of five the maximum damage however is remain unchanged what that does is if you actually miss more of your pellets it allows you to do the same amount of damage with the heavy shotgun so it increases your likelihood of a higher damage shot which is pretty cool also means it's possible that you'll probably hit like a I don't know potentially like a six damage or five da I don't know I'd have to do the math but it's uh, let's just not talk about it <laughs> And like I said, they've adjusted shotgun spread patterns to be consistent with no random variation. So you'll see how many pellets that hit with the reticle. You'll actually see that in the gameplay when I kill a couple guys with a pump shotgun. You'll see red dots appear in my crosshairs. That's how many pellets hit the guy when I shot at him. That's pretty cool. It gives you a chance to actually get, you know, know what happened when you're hitting that nine damage headshot. I, I don't think this is going to stop it from changing. I have to figure out what this adjusted shotgun spread patterns to be consistent with no random variation means. Does that mean they took out Bloom out of shotguns? I'm not sure we'll see if they did that's a huge thing because then you're you know where you aim is where you'll get your shots I noticed you know the first two games I played or the first game I played I hit two shots with my pump I hit them I took the guys out it was it was pretty good I do like it so We'll see how that works out, guys. Stay tuned. They reduced the hunting rifle aim assist when targeting to match that of the other sniper rifles that have projectile bullets. They lowered the vehicle knockback strength on grenades, sticky grenades, grenade launchers, and rocket launchers. I believe that has to do with when you were potentially you people that would use like LMGs and stuff or grenades or rockets in order to propel themselves when using a shopping cart. I think they lowered that so you can't like fly around using a rocket or grenades to blow yourself up. Not blow yourself up, but move yourself along. Attack and silence SMG environmental damage now correctly matches player damage. And they also did a slight little nerf to the suppress SMGs when it comes to uh, damage drop off. The fall off starts at 24 meters instead of 28, and they've reduced to 80% at 30 meters instead of 85, and then 65% at 50 meters instead of 75 at 70 meters. So it was a pretty big difference to the profile, guys, more in line with the standard SMGs. So this kind of like uh, you could see if you guys noticed in the last couple weeks, the meta kind of leaning towards the suppress SMGs instead of even ARs. So this is a good balance. I think it was needed. Brings the 
AR is a little bit more relevant again, and then also it doesn't make the suppressed SMG like the best gun in the game. Another couple of things they changed, guys, for the center of the storm for circles 7, 8, and 9 will now shift in random directions instead of simply shrinking. So as the storm closes in, it will move in and shrink to a new location. This will be similar to the way the first few storms move around where the center can go anywhere. Previously, it would just like shrink in on itself. What happens is if you have somebody that's got a circle advantage, the storm potentially won't continue to close on them, giving them the advantage. Uh, so you might still be able to, you know, wait out for the next storm if you're kind of in a disadvantage and see if it lands on you. So that's kind of nice because sometimes that'll be the reason why you end up losing a game. And that's unfortunate. We don't want to see that. One more thing they added, guys, to the 50 v 50 and teams of 20 limited time game modes. Up to three times per match, you can earn XP for reviving teammates at 30 XP and 10 XP and 10 XP. So you have the potential to earn 50 XP by reviving teammates in those game modes. Hopefully they bring this back. I'm not going to say that you got to bring it back to regular squads because then you'll just see people farming XP, knocking each other and stuff. But in this case, I think there's, I, I believe there needs to be some type of a incentive, a game theory for you to actually work with your downed uh, teammates, either enemies or teammates. I think they need to add some features in there that allow you to consider potentially reviving or, or thirsting players. Uh, something where you, there's a counter to that where that actually benefits you. And this is a good perk to that because a lot of times in 50 v 50 there's really no perk to resing a or you know reviving a down teammate that's not in your squad so now they give you a chance to get some xp which is kind of cool so hopefully the teams will actually try and revive each other a little more often make those games a little bit more intense so that's a quick summary guys of all the key points that we want to discuss in the patch notes make sure you guys check out the full patch notes in the description below and let us know what you guys think in the comment section again down below there's a lot to cover here, but it's a lot of minor tweaks, so there's not really any point in reading through all the patch notes independently. So we go ahead, check them out, the full patch notes, take your time, read through, and we hit all the major points here. Hopefully you did find this video useful. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. If you are new here, make sure you subscribe, and if you're not following us on social media, those links are down in the description below. And as always, guys, my name is Argon, and may you never die to a bush. Peace.